It's Bev again, still waiting for this book to be published. Anyway, today I want to talk, I'm probably mostly talking to you guys, you know. A lot of you watch me on Instagram, and um, uh, I think more women watch me on YouTube. But anyway, I want to talk about how you can calculate your maximum strength. And what I'm talking about here is your one rep max. And you may have heard of that term, right? It's the maximum weight that you can push or pull at any one time. In other words, in one rep. What is the maximum weight that you can move? Um, and it can be measured for any lift. Um, when I'm talking about upper body, and I want you to try out what I'm going to tell you. You can do it on the barbell bench press, or you can do it on the dumbbell chest press. And on the lower body, barbell squats or leg presses. Um, and when you do it, you have to remember how much a barbell weighs, right? Uh, some of them are 25 pounds and some of them are 45 pounds. So make sure you use the same one each time and that you add it into the weight that you're actually moving, right? Because you're moving dumbbells here, but you're also moving the plates and the bar when you're doing a, a bench press. Okay, so how can you use this kind of knowledge? Well, you can use it to strengthen or gain more muscle mass, which I know is important to you. Um, or maybe you want to improve some place in your body for some particular sport, right? Um, or maybe you just want to build muscle mass faster than what you're doing. So, um, if you know your one rep uh, maxes in your upper and lower body, you'll also discover if you have any kind of imbalances. Um, I mean, frankly, there's nothing worse than a guy, you know, he's all built up and he's walking around on chicken legs, right? So he has no strength here and he's only concentrating on his pecs. Maybe he's not even working on his back, right? So he's walking around like this and thinking he's looking pretty cool, right? And I'm looking at those chicken legs and I'm thinking, I could probably squat more than that guy. Anyway, um, you know, the, the, problem, the problem with one rep maxes is it can be really, really dangerous to do that, especially if you don't have a spotter, right? Um, you're going to do one rep with the most weight you can, you can move, and you can't move any other weight. Really, really dangerous. So, and certainly this is not for the beginner, right? The beginner should, uses less weight and has to be kind of concentrating on proper form and range of motion and all that kind of thing. So I'm talking about a more seasoned weightlifter, right? So I'm going to give you a formula that, that, that you can use and it'll help you figure out your one rep max without actually only doing one rep. When you do um, whatever number of reps you do, it's going to give you a certain percentage of your one rep max. So obviously if you do one rep, that's 100%. That's the really dangerous one. If you do five, it's about 90%. Eight is about 80. And, you know, you work your way down. So if you're doing 30 reps and you can't do any more, you're lifting about 50% of your maximum uh, weight that you can do. So what we want to do is figure out, okay, how can we know what your one rep max is in any of these without it being dangerous? So I'm going to give you a formula, and it's called the Epley formula, E-P-L-E-Y. I mean, there are many different formulae that you can use. This happens to be the one that I use. So your one rep max that you're after on whatever exercise you're using is going to be the weight that you use times one plus the number of reps divided by 30. Um, now it sounds kind of complicated, but um, what we could do is figure out, first of all, what is this number? Well, this number is one plus uh, I'm going to use five reps, okay? Um, I'm just going to I'm just going to do the ninety percent thing. Um, so you're going to do five reps to fatigue, where you cannot do more reps. This formula works best for four, five, or six reps. 
but I'm just going to use five. If you can only do four, you can still use this formula. And if you get to five, you can still use the formula. But let's make it five and we'll divide by 30. So that would be the weight of, whoops, get my calculation right here. 30 into five is um, about 0.1666 or whatever. So this is the weight times one plus this. So it's going to be the weight times this number. So you don't have to remember this calculation if you're always going to use five as your number of reps. So let's, let's make the weight kind of an easy number to calculate. And we're just going to round it. So your one rep max, if you're using 100 pounds on one of these, is going to be, for five reps, 117 pounds. Okay, so again, it's roughly, uh, the weight you're using is roughly 90% of, of your rep. Okay, so it's just a quick and dirty. And as I say, you can use it to see if you have any kind of imbalance in your upper and lower body. And, um, you know, use proper form when you're doing it. And uh, you're not going to go to one rep max or five, five reps as a max all the time. But once in a while, you're going to track yourself. And then you'll see if you're improving. And it's, it's, it's just a fabulous way to build muscle much more quickly. Okay? So give it a whirl. I'll see you in the next video. And be safe. Bye-bye.